Hey everybody, so we're back in the garden, but it is not a very pleasant place to be today. Uh, the weather has taken a turn here. Uh, last weekend was a beautiful weekend in the garden, even though we had had a little snow before that, it melted quickly. I just went about my life like I normally do in fall. And then this week we had a six inch snowfall, which is a lot for this time of year. And it got cold and it stayed cold and it appears like it might stay cold for a long time. So all of my great plan for fall gardening, I've told you guys about it. I've written about it on the blog. Guess what? It's out the window. Um, so today is going to be a little video about sort of garden triage and how I'm prioritizing the things that have to get done in the garden. Um, because at this point, we're definitely to the point where what has to get done, because a lot of things that I'd like to do are just not going to happen. For instance, I'd love to spread chopped up leaves on my garden beds, which I do every year. That's not going to happen. Can't get to the leaves. They're under the snow. I am hoping there will be a thaw in a couple of weeks and there's still a lot of leaves left on trees they've got to come down at some point so i'm hoping at some point maybe i can go back and do some of those things but i can't count on that because this weather's been crazy so i guess let's go just check out what i can be doing in the garden right now what what So I've got these winter gloves that I guess are gardening gloves now, but it's too cold for regular garden, gardening gloves. One of the things I never got to was cleaning out these containers um, on the deck. By the way, I grew cup and saucer vine here this year, and um, I liked it a lot. I love growing annual vines because it's unbelievable how quickly, I mean, what, it takes them a while to get going, but once they get going, they just go nuts. This is the first time I've ever had any vine that I've grown in these containers actually get tall enough to start draping over the pergola. So um, this was a big win this year. Um, I also grew somewhere else. I grew um, purple runner bean, grew that over by the garage. That also did really well. I actually think um, I've got kind of a weird situation here. This container gets a little bit more sun than the one behind it. And I think that um, I think that hyacinth bean does better in those shady conditions. So I might grow that here next year, but I would definitely consider cup and saucer vine again because it worked out great. And I'm gonna need a ladder for this, I think. Oh, it's totally frozen in here. Oh, crud. Unfortunately, um, these pots are not going to get cleaned out this year because that is too frozen in there. So I guess I'll just cut the plants away and store them in the garage full and then keep an eye on them. And hopefully maybe they'll thaw out a little bit and I can get the soil out of them. Oh, that's a bummer. Everybody. We're going to go do some gardening and I thought I'd show you all the gardening gear that you too might need. Step one, headlamp. Step two, make sure you have your gardening boots on. And of course you can't forget your gardening gloves. And your puffy coat for gardening. Okay, for real though, here's the deal. It's currently 27 degrees out. And... The soil temperature across from on the other side of the patio where half of my dahlias are is currently 38 degrees. It is going to get down to 15 degrees tonight. And I'm very worried that that soil temperature is going to get down to freezing, which means no dahlias. So I am going outside where there is about six inches of snow to dig up dahlias at 8.45. Fortunately, Mr. Much More Patient put a giant spotlight in the bedroom window to light up 
everything down here. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but here's the current snow situation. Here's the dahlias. Now, so when I did my frantic dahlia dig this week, um, I actually hadn't cut ba anything back yet. I mean, I never even got as far as cutting um, stems off. And thank goodness for that, because I never would have found them in the snow if it hadn't been for leaving those stems standing. So when I went through the dahlias the other day, um, my goal was to just get those things dug out of the ground and into the basement. And so I left this giant mess behind. And I, A, it's not nice to have this mess anytime, but I like to have um, the area around the house in really good shape before winter because I don't want to look at the big mess all winter, you know? I mean, it's a long, it's a long time with nothing there to hide it. What I do is I usually take my climbing roses over here and I bend them down and I bury them in a trench over here. That's worked really well for me. Um, I don't know that that'll happen. Those are probably not doing any more bending. So this has really been something this year. pulling out like a ton of the annuals that I had sort of planned on getting out of the ground. So I'm just chopping back those things that are going to be really unsightly or flop over a path for now. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh crap. What? Are you going to help? was cleaning up my while I was cleaning up the wheelbarrow mess I came over here and found this dogwood which is finally putting on some growth it was a gift to us when one of our dogs died we have this little this little plaque down here it was all tipped over much like the apple tree over here and this is deer this is, I, I assume this is deer in, I don't know if this is deer in rut trying to rub on these or if they're trying to get to the top of them and they're falling over, but look at how wobbly this is now. I've stood it back up for the time being. I think I'm going to have to figure out a way to stake it and then cage that so that that doesn't happen again. So one of the questions that people ask all the time is, it got cold, I didn't get my bulbs in, can I still plant them? Um, and the answer is, hell yes, you can. As long as you can get into the ground, you can plant bulbs. They will be just fine. It's great if you can water them when you get them in. If you can't, they're probably going to be okay anyways. Fortunately, we're supposed to get rain in a couple of days here. So that will water them So because we've disconnected our hoses now. And um, hopefully melt some of this snow. But I'm going to get these bulbs in.
One of the other things that people ask a lot is how do you know where your bulbs are so that you don't dig them up accidentally? And, and the answer is um, you don't. So I just dug up some bulbs here. I don't even know, it's probably a daffodil. I'm just gonna throw them back in the hole. Actually, they think there was, see, there's a whole bunch here. Ooh, all kinds of baby, look at this. All these little baby bulbs on there too. I'm just gonna throw them back in the hole. They'll probably be fine. Anyway, I'm gonna get these bulbs in the ground and get this finished um, and try to wrap up everything I can. I think if there's a lesson to be learned here, it's that you know, if you garden long enough, you learn real quick that mother nature is in charge and you can only do what you can do. So sometimes all those great plans, all those lists of projects you had to do, they go straight out the window when mother nature's in charge. You just gotta do the best you can. We'll see how it goes. It probably will all work out fine because that's usually how it goes. We make too much of these things and then everything ends up fine. Hey, let me know what it's like in your garden right now. If you're dealing with this crazy fall like this or if you're having a good time in your garden still or if you're just kind of trying to get through the season. Um, if you like this video, do me a favor, give it a like, hit subscribe, uh, and we'll catch you soon. Oh.